All right, guys, we're here. We're excited to be here. Uh, we had good, safe travels. Uh, blinked your eyes, and uh, the flight was over. It wasn't as long as I thought, so that was a, a good thing for us. Um, we met this morning in uh, Athens, jumped on the plane, and uh, headed this way. As you, you probably know, they covered the takeoff, and uh, we're here now to get a little work done today and then uh, get ready to go practice tomorrow. If you have a question, raise your hand. We'll get this microphone to you. I have a question up front. Hey there, Coach. Wendy Corona from WSB TV. You said you have a little work to get done today and practice tomorrow. What is the work that you're going to be doing tonight? Uh, we'll do a little workout. We think it's important to get on the ground and stretch our legs. So we'll do a little work and then get a practice in tomorrow as well. Coach Jack Patterson from WRBL in Columbus. Now that you're finally out here, what do you tell the team as you know it kind of sinks in that you're getting ready to play for the national championship? Uh, we still have a couple days to get prepared. We'll go through our normal process uh, of preparing for a game, which we've done 14 times now. So it's, uh, it's, it's not different in terms of what we do. It's just where we're doing it. Good afternoon, Coach. First and foremost, congratulations on making it this far. You and your Bulldogs team had the opportunity to win back-to-back -back national titles for the first time in almost a decade. So what does this mean to you and your Bulldogs team that's going to compete out there on Monday? Well, it's about the players. The players put us in this position. It's really not about me. It's about our organization, our university. And um, it doesn't come without a lot of hard work. And uh, our guys have took that hard work head on. And one of the hardest things to do in all sports is finish. And we've got an opportunity to uh, uh, finish a really good season on Monday night. And we've got a great opponent to go through to get there. So have a lot of respect for TCU and uh, our guys, the work they put in. So just an honor to be on the stage. Coach, as you're reflecting on the road to get here, what is different about this team that's going to face TCU on Monday? Well, I think this team is constantly changing. It's not a in a vacuum where we've just gone in stages. We, we've gotten better. Um, we've improved. We've had a, a play a lot of really good opponents, especially here at the end of the year. And um, you know, they've they come a long way. And, and the young players have shown the most progress. Some of our younger players are starting to play better because I think they're at the end of year one. Um, and we've also tried to manage. Uh, fatigue as you go along, and it's important to manage your players' bodies. So I'm pleased with where they are, but uh, the biggest test of all will be Monday. Coach Jack again from WRBM. Uh, Jeff Anderson again from WRBL. You were a part of the coaching staff for the last team to win back-to-back -back national championships with Alabama. Is there any lessons you can take from being a part of that team to take to this team as well? Uh, not that I really remember. I mean, it's all part of being a, a staff and a team and everybody buying into your job. Uh, I don't think those experiences are, are relevant uh, with these experiences. Price with Fox 5. What can you say about any health updates that you have on maybe Warren and uh, Darnell? Uh, Warren McClendon. Uh, yeah, he's been working. Um, he's felt a lot better this week in terms of what he's been able to do from the previous weeks, and uh, we're hopeful to have Darnell ready. Brandon Adams from Dog Nation. How much of an acclimation process is it getting ready to play in a stadium that you've never played in before? Sight lines, things like that. What will that be like? Well, we'll get to walk the stadium. We'll get to practice in the stadium. We'll get to do walk through in the stadium. So uh, it, it will be more familiar with this stadium than most places we play because when we play on the road, our kids don't see the stadium anyway. So when you go in the SEC, a lot of the freshmen don't ever go there and see it. So uh, it won't be quite as uh, normal as we've been over in the um, bins because we played there so many times. But we'll get uh, a walkthrough or, or a, a practice and uh, in pregame and get some work in over there. So that should help. Coach Dan Matthews, 6A, the fan right here. Uh, just you guys stepping off the plane, you touched on this a little bit earlier. I mean, is there kind of a, a different feeling this time of, knowing what these couple of days are like leading up to game day? 
um, different than what? Uh, well, the temperature's different. I can promise you that. Um, it's big time difference there. Uh, in terms of uh, our team, it's very different, you know. So uh, we'll approach it the same way in terms of what we do and how we go about things. But that doesn't change on any game we do. Thanks, guys.